Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislawati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I want to help you to become more familiar and more comfortable with the Calculate formula by providing the explanation in simple English. The Calculate DAX function is touted to be the most powerful and the most important DAX function to master. If you have attempted to learn how to use Calculate but are still feeling confused, don't worry, you are not alone because there are so many confusing and complex explanations about Calculate. Take this as an example. This is an extract from Microsoft website outlining the syntax for Calculate. This explanation will only make sense if you are a Power BI developer who already understand filter. If not, it can be rather confusing. And what if you don't understand how to use the Calculate function in Power BI? Well, 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 it is almost the same as asking, what if you don't understand VLOOKUP and SUMIF in Excel? Can you still use Excel if you don't know these two functions? Sure you can, but you can be so much more effective if you understand these two formulas. Likewise, can you still use Power BI if you don't quite understand the Calculate formula? Sure you can, but you can be so much more effective if you understand this function. So in short, if you don't know how to use the Calculate function, you miss out big time. And today, I want to help you to become more familiar and more comfortable with the Calculate function by providing the explanation and examples in simple English. In order to really, really understand Calculate, there are two concepts that you need to understand. Concept number one, Calculate formula is very similar to SUMIF's formula in Excel. If you come from an Excel background, hopefully you have used SUMIF before. In fact, I personally believe that they are so similar that Calculate formula should be named Calculate IFs. What do I mean by that? This is the syntax of SUMIFs in simple English. Equal SUMIF, open bracket, things to be summed up, followed by criteria 1, criteria 2, etc. And this is the syntax of calculate in simple English. Equal calculate, open bracket, things to be calculated, followed by criteria 1, criteria 2, etc. Can you see the similarities? The one difference is that with calculate, you have the options to provide an input of what type of calculation to be performed. For example, sum, min, max, average, etc. In other words, with one text formula calculate, it can perform what in Excel need to be performed by many different formulas such as sum ifs, count if, average ifs, etc. Now that you have understood the first concept and can see how calculate formula is so similar to sum if, let's build on our knowledge and understanding of the calculate function in Power BI by moving on to the next important concept. Concept number two. The criteria included in the Calculate calculation will override the filter context of the Power BI report. At this point, some of you may be thinking, what's filter context? Filter context is the various filtering that happen within Power BI, which can be the result of row selection, column selection, report filters, page filters, visual filters, and slicer selections. Let me show you in a simple Power BI PNL report that will help us to understand the filter context within Power BI. Let me show you a simple Power BI PNL report that will help us to understand the filter context. This is the report page and this is the model. We have three dimension table and one actual tables. We have the value which is our PNL by cost center, by date, and by GL. Let's go back to the report page. And as you can see, we have some tables over here and we have a rate card showing total value or total PNL. Now, what's filter context? Filter contexts are basically various filtering that can happen within Power BI that can change this number, the value of the number that we see. For example, it can be row selections. Notice how it changed? It can be column selections. Notice how it changed? It can be this row selection from GL group or it can also be slices. And notice, not only this card which is impacted, that table is also impacted by the filter context or the various filter selections. And not only filter selection can be impacted by everything that you see on this page, there are also other filters that may not be visible. For example, those on the right pane over here. On the filter pane, you can see 
different type of filter filter on this page filter on all pages in other words every single pages in this report are impacted by the filtering over here for example let me just show you i can just select ancillary costs and all the pages in this report is now filtered to show only ancillary costs and how do you know if your numbers are impacted by filter context that you can see the easiest way is to hover into the filter icon so that you can see what sort of filtering contexts are impacting this visual now let me just select another thing for you i'm going to select filter on this page and i'm going to click adlai and notice in here now i have two filters cost and description adlai and gl ancillary cost so those are filters that impacts the value of the numbers that you see in power bi and that's basically what filter context means filter context means whatever filtering that happens in this report will impact the numbers that you see now that you have understood the filter concept let me repeat what i said earlier the criteria included in the calculate functions will override the filter context within the power bi report in fact calculate is the only function in DAX that can override the filter context. And that is why it is touted to be the most powerful DAX function. And what do I mean by override? The filter criteria explicitly included within the calculate formula will take precedent over those in the Power BI report. And let me show you some examples. Let me show you some example of how the calculate functions can be used to create measures that can override the filter context. So tables on the left are created not using calculate, but using simple sum of the values from the actual columns. Whereas tables on the right, they are written using a measure, PNL measure, and the PNL measure uses the calculate functions. Now at the moment, it's a simple calculate with no criteria. I haven't added the criteria. So it will behave exactly the same as the table on the left. As you can see, everything is identical. However, when I am adding an additional criteria, say for example, I'm going to add year equal 2022, watch this. Notice how everything is now showing 5.5 million, and that's because 5.5 million is the value of the PL in year 2022. So now every single tables in here are showing 5.5 million regardless of the fact that in the filter it says all year it's still just showing 2022 values that's the meaning of overriding when you write a dex formula with calculate the criteria of the filtering does not have to be always equal you can say year less than 2022 and let's look at what happened if we do that. Now everything is showing 23 million and 23 million is really the sum of 2020 and 2021 because those two years are less than 2022. Ah, isn't that interesting? And also because the date filter within the calculate formula overrides the various filtering that happen within Power BI reports, notice this, when I select the year in the slicer, say I select 2021, the original report get filtered, but the measures that I wrote using calculate earlier, still staying at 23.8 million, regardless of the year filtering in here. But notice one thing, if I change and select month in the filter, it is still changing, why? Because in my calculate formula in here, I have not overridden the criteria for months with any filter criteria inside my PNL. Now, watch this. If I add another criteria, say put a comma and add one more criteria, which is month, and just select that equal to January, for example. And let's make that 2022 so that it's easy. So we are going to say we are applying two filter, year 2022 and month one. And I'm going to hit OK. And watch this. Now everything is showing 2.2 million. 
Why? Because I have two filters implicitly included in the calculate formula year 2022 and month one. And notice how that's the same with year 2022 and month one in here. See the pattern? Let's build on our previous examples. What if we want to show not only January, but January as well as February to be displayed? So what we can do is we can use the OR criteria. And this is how you write OR. Just use double pipe and just say month. Select the last one. Equal to. And hit tick. Now we have 3.7 million, which is the sum of 2.2 plus 1.5 million over there. And notice why they're all the same, because this is the column context, and the column context is overridden by the year. And notice the month as well, they are being overridden by this month context that has been explicitly included in the calculate formula now, which is why you are seeing 3.7 million in every single month. In here, I have expanded my DEX formula. I have added another criteria, which is cost center equal to Tasmania. And because my criteria are getting longer and longer, I have split the coding into several lines so that they are easier to read. And to add another line, all you need to do is just press Alt Enter. Now that I have added Tasmania, click OK and notice something. This is now showing 390,000. And if you click Tasmania, January and February, that's where you have 390. Our calculate formula can also be used to remove filters. For example, I have written in here, remove filter date year. What does that mean? It means that I don't want any year filtering to be done. So for example, in this table, we have column filtering happening and that is now being removed. Therefore, we are seeing total all years PNL which is this 29 million over here. If we want to show 29 million across all months in here, what do we need to override and remove? You're right. We need to remove the filters of the month. That way then we will see 29 million showing in each row. Let me show you an example. I'm just going to add one more criteria in there. So just add one more comma, remove filters, and we want the month and just press tap tap and look at that now 29 million appear in every month because we have removed the filter for the month how about in here why is that not the same because we haven't removed the filter of the cost center group and likewise in here they are not the same because we haven't removed the filter of the cost center group the other options which is commonly used by many people Instead of typing remove filter, many people like to use all and it will achieve the same thing. So let me just show you and hit that. See how it's still 29 million? Remove filter and all, they're exactly the same. Let's test our understanding. What if I want to show 29.4 million across all rows? How shall we modify our decks? Very easy, just type comma. Alt enter all and then select cost center group close the bracket and done voila 29.4 million very good as you can see there are many variations that you can use i'll show you one more something called all accept so instead of all date i'm going to type all accept so with all accept the input is the table name, which I'm going to use date. So basically, I'm going to say I'm going to clear all filtering from the date table, except maybe year. So meaning the month, the days, the week, I want to clear all filtering, but I want to keep the year. So watch what happened. Oh, <laughs> what's wrong with that? Oh, a missing comma. All right. As you can see in here, now we have different values by year because we are saying we don't want to clear the filtering for year. 
but we want to clear all other date filtering so any date filtering months week everything else including this month over here now the values are the same but the year are different so that's a powerful one especially if you have many many fields and you want to clear all of them except one you should use all except congratulations you have almost reached the end of this video you have learned about the calculate function its similarity with some is function in excel and of course its superiority in terms of being able to calculate anything sum min max average etc and most importantly its ability to override filter context in power bi before i finish i'd like to draw your attention to one last thing i've been writing all the filtering criteria in the dex formula the short way like this instead of the longer way which you may come across in the future Please note, both the short and long way will give you the same outcome. I really hope that this tutorial will enable you to continue your Power BI DAX journey with greater confidence and excitement. All the best and see you next time. <music>